Hey there fellow simmers and welcome back to my channel where I play The Sims 2. My name is Michael and today we are starting the Build a City challenge in the hood that I called Serpent's Tale. If you are interested to see how it was created, go ahead and check my previous videos on the channel. For those of you who are not familiar, in Build a City challenge we basically create our custom neighborhood from scratch following some principles. There are a lot of rules that I personally use and I will do my best to explain every little aspect as I play. And if you want to know the rules in advance, feel free to check the detailed guide I attached in the description. Usually, the challenge starts with one or a couple of founder sims that come to a barren spot and start building their city from nothing. For this hood, I decided to take a step away from this concept and instead I imagined that this territory already has a settlement. Only 5 people, but hey, how many more do you need to be called a village anyway? This has more effect on the story, gameplay wise it'll be all the same as if I had just regular city founders. Because of that, I've built all these tiny wooden houses. I did that off camera because, well, just look at them. They are horrible boxes that practically have nothing inside of them. Besides, they are all alike and if you've seen one, you've seen them all. Another distinct feature of this challenge is that you play in so-called rounds. That is, you play each household a certain amount of days to synchronize them across the hood. I personally prefer a 5 day round, because that is how many days my seasons last in the neighborhood. And today, we are gonna start our first round with a new guy in town. Why did he come here? You can check my other video that tells you just that. Ok then, let us load the farm that this dude kind of inherited from his grandpa. Alright, now that we are here, let me do one little thing before we can actually start playing. I will put a visitor controller adjuster. Yes, and I need this mod uh, to prevent the game from spawning all sorts of unnecessary fox. And well, in our case, that is everyone except our playable sims. So basically, our five locals and this new guy should be the only sims in town. I will ban all the NPCs here. And I'll also disable uh, stray cats and dogs, because I don't like them. Unfortunately, you need to do this with every household. Luckily, you set it up once and then you can forget about it until something changes in the hood. So, meet our Johnny Green here. Yeah, thumbs up for the most creative name ever. <laughs> I guess I will uh, tell him to plant some tomatoes and in the meantime we'll be able to take a closer look at his personality. And you can already see that he has predestined hobby in nature. In my opinion, it suits him perfectly. First of all, you can see that he is an adult. And since I use a default lifetime span, we're gonna have 29 days uh, to play him. I used to have a mod that prolongs their lives, so that the adult stage was 45 days or something like that, but it was such a drag to play, so I decided to go back. And if you decide to start a BACC2, go with the default, or maybe even something shorter. Believe me, this is going to make it way easier for you. What else? Um, his personality. With him, I was going for a quirky nerd sort of type of a guy, and I think it's pretty close. A bit shy, but playful and nice. And here are his turn-ons and turn-off. As for the skill points, it might have been appropriate to give him at least some. Because at this point in life, he should have learned something. But hey, I like it rough, and so I decided not to simplify my task. It is a challenge after all, right? Lastly, let us look at his aspiration rewards. Which I have not set yet. <laughs> Alright. Um, so I think we'll go for the uh, slower mode of decay. Yeah, so that I have more things to do within one day. Yeah, that should work just fine. Mm -hmm. As for the role our John is going to play in Serpent's Tale, for now he'll be our farmer. I think it perfectly aligns with his backstory and it's one of the most important jobs here in the hood. So we definitely need a farmer. Alright, let's take a closer look at his lot, which as you can see <laughs> is pretty empty. So, first of all, uh, you can notice that I've placed only the bare necessities that we, he will need to survive. Uh, so that includes the bed, a uh, pretty cool looking fridge, uh, which to me is more like a cellar. We also have a grill to prepare the fish we're going to catch, and a small table to do all the cooking. Other than that, I had to place a bathtub and a sink. Even though, according to my rules, at this point the sims have no access to plumbing. But there are some things that you just can't do without. And that include the bathtub and the sink. I put these custom ones and I imagine that the sims go to the river and bring the water back home to take a proper bath. 
The reason I had to put a sink too is because I use a cleaning mod made by Simler90. And with it, the Sims can only wash dishes in a sink or later on in a dishwashing machine. No more throwing dishes into the trash can. Yay! Alright, he's pretty close to finishing his planting and his hunger is going down, so we'll definitely need to... Oh! Welcome! <laughs> Our local citizens came here to <laughs> greet him, I mean, <laughs> they kind of surrounded him and it... The way they surrounded him looks pretty intimidating to me. <laughs> Guys, be nice to him. But actually we don't have any time for them, because his hung hunger is going down. And if we go and check the supplies, you can see an interesting thing. <laughs> because I use a mod that sets the food supplies for all the newly bought uh, fridges to zero. So we have no food whatsoever. And if we don't go and catch some fish, uh, we're gonna die of starvation. Alright, let's go to the beach. A special community lot that I place for this particular reason. Here we are at the community lot, and you can see that, well, pretty much all the local citizens are here. Well, yeah, they are all here. All five of them plus our journey. And this girl here, VN Daisy, is actually wearing formal wear. <laughs> what a weird choice to be wearing a dress on the beach, but hey. Who am I to judge? This is probably because of the mod, another mod by Simmer90 that I used. Uh, it makes the Sims uh, wear formal wear occasionally. Okay, since this is the first time we are loading this community lot, I will also need to properly set up the visitor controller adjuster. So I'll do just the same thing. I will ban all the NPCs and ban creatures. I'll also ban some townies and downtownies, just to be on the safe side. Though there shouldn't be any at this point. So even though this is a beach lot, I can actually catch some fish here, because of the mod called Invisible Pond. With it, you can place a pond without placing a pond. Pretty cool thing to have, highly recommend. So these two guys, uh, the redhead, well, they're both, both redheads, are actually the father and his daughter. Uh, so Ben Richardson and Scarlett Richardson. And Ben is gonna be our... Well, I cannot call him a mayor at this point, but sort of a, an elder in the community. So he's the one who will be responsible for all the stuff like uh, managing taxes, building some sort of uh, new community lots. At least for now. Alright, another dude is uh, Alfred Dunhill. Hmm? I will not be spoiling what he's gonna do in uh, the community yet, but I'm pretty sure we'll have uh, some quite interesting stories with, with him. Same goes for V and Daisy. And our dude called Heron Snapper. You may already know this name from the Serpent's Tale Chronicles that I shot a couple of days ago. Alright, let's go back to our Johnny here, who is not doing well. Johnny, try harder, because you have nothing to eat. I love when they do that. Ah, never gets old. Okay, do we have like a uh, ask to join option now? Okay, then I will take control of other sims and ask them to be well, catching some fish too. So, kind of efficient session we have today <laughs> in a dress. Alright, so it's almost evening now and our journey has <laughs> got only a boot. And another boot. Dude, dude, this is not going well for you. <laughs> you know what? This challenge may end sooner than you think. If our journey dies here today. A third boot. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh man. He has not caught anything yet. Okay, um, <laughs> what can we do about that? What can we do about that? As far as they've seen, uh, Heron here caught something, right? Yeah, largemouth bass. You know what? I'll just go and give a gift to him. Kind of like a welcome gift to the new newcomer, right? Let us uh, give him fish? Maybe even two, you know? I think that's enough for today here. Let us head back home. Here you can see another essential mod in action. It's called Community Time Project. With it, the amount of time your sims spent on community lots will be taken into account when they come back home. I have some problem with mine, because these two windows should also be saying at what time he will come back. Other than that, it works just fine, and without it, the game would be extremely off balance. While we're waiting for Jenny to come back, you can see here a grave of Johnny's grandma. She died a long time ago, way before Johnny was born, and you will learn more about her in the future episodes of Serpent's Tale Chronicles. And now you can see my spooky lighting in action. 
I love this kind of a sunset uh, that lasts from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. I mean, just, just, just look at this. All right, here is Johnny. Hmm. Before I send him to cook his uh, bass, you may be wondering where the toilet is. Well, guess what? When you're a man, the entire world is your toilet. Be like a champ, man. Uh, let me go and tell him to gr grill the bass with squash. Hmm? Yeah, see that is the reason why I need this uh, cellar kind of fridge, because without it he would not be able to prepare the squash out of his in inventory. I do hope he doesn't burn anything today. And yeah, another way I like to make my game more challenging is that until I have a wind generator or a power station in the hood, I will not be using any regular feature of uh, the fridge. So, for now, I am not able to put the leftovers into the fridge. Alright, so it's close to morning, and by countryside standards it is like late morning already. So let me wake you up and you take bubble bath. Ooh, and there is another mod by Simler90 that makes the sims change into towel instead of underwear or everyday clothes when they leave a hot tub or a bathtub. I like it a lot. What is the matter with you, dude? You do have a sink here, right? Okay. Let us try out the regular one. Clean up. Maybe it's supposed to be in the same room. Clean up. What's the matter then, dude? What is the matter? Okay, I tried a lot of things off camera and nothing seems to work. You cannot wash the dishes now, Michael from the past, because you are stupid. You see, here in the house you have a bath, which makes the game considered to be a bathroom. And you've totally forgotten that you have another mod, the one that prevents the sims from washing dishes in bathrooms. Guys, if you haven't caught a similar problem, this may be because you have the same mod installed. The solution here would simply be to move the sink outdoors, but I figured it out only after I was done recording. So for the rest of the episode, please don't blame Johnny for being sloppy. It's not his fault. Ooh, a bronze badge in gardening. That will certainly come in handy. And now it's high time to learn some new skills. Like cooking, for example. Mm -hmm. You know what? I think I will change him into his ordinary clothes because... <laughs> Towel is fun and all, but come on. I think that while we can, we shall go to the beach once again and try and catch some fish. Okay, here we are again. What has just happened, dude? What are you doing here? Why have you just shoved her? Uh, that is what happens when you have a lot of grouch sims in your neighborhood. You can have all sorts of drama going on. Sometimes it's fun, but sometimes it's so damn frustrating. Girl, how is that gonna work? No, that, that, that is not how you catch fish, no. I mean... <laughs> yeah, the mud is not perfect. <laughs> and another boot! Dude! I'm starting to think that he is not gonna catch anything but boots. I mean, no, seriously. <laughs> Can you imagine that? That is the fifth! <laughs> really? And we've just got the bronze reward for fishing. Not having caught a single fish. Yes! Yes! Finally! Yes! Let's go home and cook it. Too bad we will not be able to start uh, any business for him this round, because as far as I remember, it takes about 6 days for the tomatoes to be harvestable. That is something we will do the next round. And for now, fish died it is. And yeah, I remembered what I've forgotten to show you. His lifetime wound. So for him, it's become ecological guru. I think it's just a perfect match for his personality, but the problem is there's just no way he's gonna be able to fulfill this want. Well, the way I'm gonna run this town, we will get all the later positions in careers much later in the game. Definitely not within his lifespan. So, sorry dude. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Well, he had not want to do that. <laughs> so here you go. Ooh, we have Scarlet here. You know what? Let us work a little bit on uh, building some relations with the locals because so far we haven't done anything. 
Is it awkward to be talking to a girl while you're in, in a towel? You know what? Let's make a risky move and try to flirt. Let's see what happens. Well, no, not in front of her dad, no! Dude, not in front of her dad while you're in a towel. I mean, he's kind enough to turn his back on you, but still. Oh, she even likes that. Cool. Hmm. Alright, I think we will stop for now. Let us not rush things, so say goodbye. Hmm, so far I haven't been really explaining any rules to you, have I? <laughs> Even though I told that I would touch upon every little aspect. But the thing is, we haven't really encountered that many interesting things uh, in terms of the rules. But since we're getting closer to the end of the round, I think it makes sense to tell you about the tax system that I use. It's pretty straightforward, each household is to provide a 10% tax every round based on two things. First is the net worth of the household. And that includes the lot price the household lives in, as well as the amount of cash they have. And second, the net worth of the business, if the household runs one. We will ignore this one for this episode, and I'll tell you more about it when we actually do have someone with the business to pay for. So for our journey here, right now I would need to pay 700 simoleons as a tax. That is because he roughly has 1200 in cash, the lot itself costs 5700, and so his net worth is 6900. I always round it up to a thousand, so I would consider his final net worth to be seven thousand. And ten percent of that is of course seven hundred. At the very end I'll show you the mod that I use to send the text to the mayor. In the meantime, let's go back to Johnny. You know what? I could have just placed the plates into his inventory. And it would work just like with the leftovers here. But that would be cheating, so no. Definitely not doing it. Oof. It hurts to see the garden in this state, but I cannot spray the plants until I have a garden club in the town. I have got to at least stand them in the morning when he gets his sleep. But you know what? I think it's time to wrap up the episode. Let me just show you the mod I use to send the taxes. I personally prefer Sim Wardrobe's checkbook, because the Sim to whom you're sending the check will not receive the money right away. You will actually need to play the mayor, take out the checks from the inventory, and then cash it. This is way more convenient, because the mayor will not be able to spend all those money at some community lot. For some reason my lot price has changed here. Hmm, it may have something to do with the plants, though I'm not sure. Anyway, it's not a big deal, 100 simoleons will not make that much of a difference. I think we can afford to pay more. So 700 it is. So now I'll just have to select the P, which is uh, Ben Richardson here, and then we simply send it to him. Just like that. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you a lot for staying with me. Next time we will play one of the locals and start a business in the hood. So stay tuned, good luck, and see ya!